friends, this is Miss Courtney, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Hungry Caterpillar using some simple materials that you might have at home. All you need for this project is some paper. If you have red and green paper already, that's great, but if you don't have red and green paper at your house, you can just use some markers or crayons, even paint, to color white paper or lined paper, whatever you have around, uh, to make them red and green. You also will need a pair of scissors. You need some markers or crayons, something to draw with, and then you'll need something like a stapler, or you can use tape to hold things together. And that's all you need. Are you ready? The first thing we're gonna do is take our paper and cut it into strips. If you have a child who's just learning how to cut across a piece of paper, then one thing you can do to make it easier for your child is to take a marker or crayon and draw a line on the paper so that your child has something to cut across, something to aim for. Um, and if you're helping your child cut, of course use child safe scissors. I only have adult ones at my house. And your child can just cut right on the line that you've drawn with your help. So we're gonna cut our paper into strips about two inches. It doesn't really matter how big they are. The main thing is try to make them roughly even. So you're gonna cut one strip of red and then you're gonna cut an entire page of green into strips. So you just you know, kind of keep going. Again, they don't have to be perfect. Just cut through until you have used the whole paper. Okay, so now that you have your strips cut, the next step is to make the little hungry caterpillar's face. And for me, it's easier to do this before you roll it up into a loop. So I'm going to just take these markers. I notice that the caterpillar has these big oval eyes. So I'm going to draw oval eyes on my red strip of paper. I'm going to give them some big eyeballs. Like that, can you see? Those are his eyes. I'm gonna give him a little nose, a little triangle nose. And then last, to complete it, I'm gonna give him these little antennas. And I think I'm just gonna color those on today. Um, if you have a pipe cleaner at home, um, you could also curl the pipe cleaner like this and then cut it and staple it on if you prefer to make your antenna. Okay, so now that you have the little face drawn, the next step is to curl your paper into a circle. And you can use stapler to attach that together. So now I have a circle. If you don't have a stapler, that's fine. You can also use tape. Um, if your tape, like mine is masking tape, you can tape on the inside so you can't see it. Whatever you have will work. So next you're gonna make the paper chain. We've got our little, our little caterpillar face in the front and we're gonna take another strip of a green strip, slide it through the loop and then loop it around to make a circle so that they're connected. And we're gonna staple that one on. Okay, and then we're just gonna keep going. So slide another green piece of paper in there it. Another green piece of paper. Staple it. Another green piece of paper. And staple it. And then just keep going until you've used them all. And then you'll see you've got your little caterpillar. Um, one trick, if you want the head to be facing forward, what you can do is either tape or staple those two chains together. You don't need to do that for the rest of the chain, but that'll keep your face in place so that it doesn't slide around to the back. And there is your little hungry caterpillar.